Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated system to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So before we get into some NBA action for March the 20th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at some of these games here as we're getting closer to playoff time. Um, take a look at the first one here that we have. Chicago Bulls and the Philadelphia 76ers. 76ers come in burning hot winners of their last six games, while Chicago is average down there coming off of a loss and are 3-3 three three over their last six. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see that Philadelphia is up here at the top at plus 29, while Chicago is at plus 12. If you look at the over under, you can see Philadelphia has been involved in games over the line of four out of their last six, Chicago over the line of four out of their last six also. And if you look at the score prediction, it's 117 to 108 in favor of Philadelphia with 71% level of confidence, so a pretty high level of confidence in that prediction. If you look at the head to head matchup, you see the two teams each won one game this season, both on the road, and um, Chicago winning the last one on January the 6th. If you take a look at the stability factor, the volatility oscillator right here, you see the upward trend for Philadelphia there at plus 22, pretty much an, on an upward trend all year, and a little bit more inconsistent with Chicago. You can see there's it's been more of an up and downward trend if you take a look at their chart, but they're still relatively consistent at um, plus eight. Okay. So anyway, in the end, how I feel like this is going to go, is I think this is a Philadelphia game, and I believe they will take this one, perhaps by double digits, but I will pass on the over and under. Okay, the next one we want to look at is Indiana, Chicago, or Charlotte. You see, Indiana comes in average down, coming off of a loss in three and three over their last six, while Charlotte is ice cold down, losers over their last three. Um, if you take a look at the over or under, you can see Indiana over in four out of their last five, and Charlotte over in their last three. So both teams have been involved in games over the line as of late. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Indiana is at plus 20. They've been up and down as a high of plus 22, and now they're at plus 20. Well, Charlotte was at plus 9 back on the 11th, and now they've dipped to plus 2. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you will see that Indiana won the last game at home back on January the 8th by 5. They won again to the previous one on November the 16th uh, on the road. So it's pretty much been all Indiana, and I don't think it's going to be any different this time. I like Indiana by double digits. Um, if you take a look at the score prediction, Indiana 116-99, to 99, so right along the lines of what I'm thinking, and confidence in prediction of 70%. So again, Indiana, double digits, and a game under the line. The next one we want to look at is Dallas and Memphis. This should be a very good matchup. Dallas comes in, ice cold up. They're coming off of a win, 2-4 and four over the last six, while Memphis is... Average down there coming off of a loss in three and three over the last six. Memphis third in the Western Conference, while Dallas is fighting for a spot at the playoffs further down on the list in the conference. Um, if you take a look here at the over under, Dallas involved in games uh, over the line in just three out of their last six and one out of their last four, while Memphis also um, under three and over three out of their last six. Um, the power ranks indicators show. Memphis on the slight upward climb from March 7th on, 22-24, slight but steady, and they're now plus 27. On Dallas has been stable over the last couple of days, they're at plus 17. If you look at the score prediction in Memphis by a 122-114 score with about 59% level of confidence in the prediction. Uh, the stability factor, I like to show this as well. You see both teams and a steady upward trend. Particularly Memphis, extremely stable, extremely consistent at plus 39. In the end, I like this one to go Memphis's way at home in a high-scoring game. So take Memphis over. Uh, the last one we want to look at here is Sacramento and Utah. Both teams fighting in the Western Conference. Sacramento second in the conference, and Utah is further down, but they are still fighting for a spot. Utah is ice cold down, coming off of a loss. They are two and four over their last six. Um, Sacramento average up four and two over their last six, coming off of a 
three-point win on the road against Chicago. His score predictor likes Sacramento 117-111 to 111 with 68% level of confidence in the prediction. The over-under shows that Utah has been playing in games over the line in each of their last six, Sacramento in three of their last six. The power ranks indicators show Sacramento they were at plus 24 and they dipped to plus 17 over the last couple of days, while Utah has climbed from plus 4 to plus 8. In the volatility oscillator, we can see here that Sacramento is at plus 20. They've been pretty consistent all year long. Not a drastic upward climb, but in general upward climb all year. And Utah not nearly as consistent there, just at plus 2. In the end, I like this one to go Sacramento's way. I'd say 6 to 10 points, and I'll go over the line. So there you have it. Those are the four games for the NBA for March 20th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.